Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to install a Bosch dishwasher. Now maybe you're moving into a new kitchen or maybe you've moved properties or maybe you've just bought a brand new one. I'll take you through all the steps to help you install it. Right, let's get cracking. This is the space where the dishwasher is going to go. With your dishwasher you should have a mains cold water feed pipe and a drainage hose and the electrical plug. First of all, get the dishwasher close to where it's going to be, but don't push it all the way in yet because you need to connect up the hoses and the electrical supply. First of all, get the plug through to where it's going to be plugged in, but don't plug it into the end. Then take your drainage hose and feed that through where it needs to go. This one is actually going to be connected under a sink. You may have a slightly different setup and I'll show you that a bit later on. If you're just moving your dishwasher, the mains cold water feed hose should already be connected to the dishwasher. If it's not, you just connect it to the back of the dishwasher and tighten this up clockwise. Don't over tighten it, just do it with your hands because you don't want to damage any threads. And the reason we don't push the dishwasher all the way back is because we want to test it and make sure there's no leaks and there's no problems. Take your mains cold water feed hose and connect that up to your pipework. You should have existing pipe work for your dishwasher or washing machine. This will be a mains cold water feed with a blue tap on it. Again, just do this up hand tight. Do not over tighten it. We can now turn on the mains cold water and you do that by turning this tap 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees away from us on this particular tap. And you should hear the mains cold water feed into that pipe. Check for any leaks at both ends because that pipe is now under mains cold water pressure. This one's looking great. Now let's connect up the drainage hose. This one's going under the sink. You may have a slightly different system and I'll show you that one after this system. So what you need to do is get this rubber drainage hose onto this connection. If it's a good tight fit, you don't normally need a clip, but I'm just gonna put a clip on here anyway. So I'm gonna put that over the drainage pipe work first. So take your drainage hose which has got a nice soft rubber end on it and feed that onto that pipe work twisting it backwards and forwards this one's a pretty good tight fit but I'm still going to put the metal clip on it just to hold it in place I'm going to take a pair of pliers and you squeeze this clip and that makes it wider and then just slide it over the rubber hose and then that just makes it nice and tight on the drainage connection. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water. As I mentioned earlier, you may have a slightly different system. You may have one of these drainage U-bend pipe works, not under the sink. If you've got one of these, you can literally just put your drainage hose down inside this pipe work. You'll normally have a clip that it goes in just to keep it in place. If you've got one of those, just clip it into place. But we're back in the sink unit here. Now we're ready to plug it in. Plug it in and switch it on. What I'm gonna do now is test the dishwasher before I slide it back into the unit. And this is so that we can check for any leaks on any of the pipe work, that's the mains cold water feed and the drainage hose, because there's no point in putting it all the way back and then finding out you've got a leak somewhere. So this is a really good idea before you put it all back into place. And during the dishwashing cycle, obviously you've got the mains cold water feeding into the dishwasher. So what you need to do is just check all the connections, the mains cold water feed connection into the back of the dishwasher and also the mains cold water feed at the tap end. And also checking the drainage hose. When this gets warm it means the dishwasher is pumping out the drainage water. So you're just checking for any leaks around any of these joints here. If you can, go outside where your drainage is and make sure that the dishwasher is draining properly. Now this dishwasher is completely level already, but the feet can be adjusted. But this one is level, so I'm just going to slide it into place. The feet can always be adjusted after you've moved it back in. 
but this floor is completely level so it should be exactly the same when I push it into place. If you live in a property with a timber floor it may not be completely level so after you push it back into place it may need leveling up again and you can do that with the two front feet. Be careful when you're pushing the dishwasher into place to make sure you don't catch or kink any of the hoses. Obviously that's pretty difficult when you can't see it but don't force it make sure it goes back nice and smooth. I'm just going to take a spirit level to make sure that this is level. And this is absolutely perfect. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about what to do if the salt light is flashing on your dishwasher and how to add salt. If you need to adjust the feet, you can lift the dishwasher up get someone to help you or you can lift it up and just wedge something underneath in the middle so then you can adjust the legs on either side and these just screw in and out and go up and down just gives you a bit of play just so that you can make the dishwasher level so I'm just going to lift this up and wedge it up you've got these legs on either side you've actually got some at the back as well and on most dishwashers these should all be adjustable and that is the same on washing machines as well. Once you've adjusted it to your desired level you can then pop it back down onto the floor. If you haven't got a spirit level then the best way is just to stand back as far as possible and just look with your eyes and just make sure that it looks nice and level. If you can't do that you can always take a marble or something and just put that on the top of the dishwasher and see if it rolls in any direction. If it stays still, then it's nice and level. This one is looking ace. If you need to uninstall the dishwasher, there's a link above now about how to do that. Right, we're ready to use it in anger and actually put some, not laundry legs, actually put some cutlery and china in there. Laundry would be a washing machine. Right, let's put the dishwasher tab in, close it up, turn it on and press start. And with the magic of video editing, this is two hours later. Everything in the dishwasher, nice and clean, no leaks anywhere, absolutely fantastic. I hope that all went great for you and let me know in the comments down below what dishwasher you've just installed. And after all that hard work it is definitely time for a lovely cup of tea. I hope you found that useful. Up on this side there's a video on what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water properly. And over on this side there's a video on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. Thanks for visiting my channel everyone, I really, really appreciate it.